All right, in this last video of the pumpkin series, we're going to render um, our pumpkin. So first we need to go to SOLIDWORKS add-ins and click on PhotoView 360. And you should get the Renders Tool tab once you do that. Um, I've already downloaded a, uh, a picture of just a front stoop. Um, so I'm going to browse for an image. And on my desktop, uh, I had just have Halloween porch. I searched on Google and found somebody's porch. Um, so this is going to be our background image. And uh, you can see floor reflections. We don't really want that. Um, floor shadows. We probably do want some sort of shadow, but we want it to sort of go where the, the you know where it makes sense from where the lights are on the porch. Um, so we'll play with that a little later. I'll check. Uh, that button to accept the scene. Uh, I'm going to go into appearances, um, click that appearances tab, and then click on view scene. And we can see a couple of different things. Uh, there's the different lights from SolidWorks and then the different lights from PhotoView 360. Um, so there is sort of a difference between what displays in the SolidWorks window and what displays when you click the preview window or final render. Um, so you want to make sure you're uh, keeping those two different types of lights um, in mind. Um, there's the ability to add a camera. So I can right click and add camera. And uh, the left hand view over here is sort of um, positioning the camera around the pumpkin. Um, whereas the right hand view is when I uh, scroll in and out, I'm, I'm actually moving the camera. Um, in this left hand view. So you can do it either way. I can grab uh, this point here and drag it and you can see the pumpkins kind of moving on the right hand side or I can roll my mouse wheel in and out and move the camera and this dot here allows me to sort of aim the camera at the pumpkin how I'd like. Um, I s kind of find it easier to just rotate it the way I like it on this right hand screen um, but that's sort of up to you. Uh, the goal here is just to sort of make it uh, look like it's sitting on the porch and not like it's a giganto pumpkin. So right now, if I'm holding down the control button and then clicking and holding the mouse wheel, I can actually pretty easily pan, um, which makes it a little easier to slide the pumpkin around. And then I can just sort of zoom zoom out until the pumpkin looks about the right size and then hold control and click the mouse button and that way I have uh, my pumpkin sitting on the front step. Um, so that will be the position of my camera. I'll click check and you can see now camera one has appeared but I'm not looking through it right now. If I want to actually see that I double click on it and I'm, here's what I'm looking at. So um, that's just an important distinction. Um, we can also play with these lights just to turn them off so you can see what directional light one does versus directional light two. So in SOLIDWORKS there's a bunch of directional lights. If I turn off the ambient light then of course the whole thing goes dark. Um, so I do want these on just to make it so I can see it. Um, I may want to play with the actual lighting in PhotoView 360. So maybe make it a little darker, but you won't actually be able to see the result of this until you uh, open the preview window. So if I click on preview window and it's just telling me I should be looking through a camera to make it look a little more realistic. Okay, so maybe we want to make this a little bit smaller. Um, let's preview window altogether. All right, so maybe I want to make the scene darker. Or maybe I want to make the rendering a little darker.
and maybe I don't want it to be as reflective. So you can play with those until you're happy. And then um, I usually just close out of this until I'm um, ready to do the render. Um, now maybe we want to sort of mimic these uh, lights up here so that we get some light coming down the back of the pumpkin. I might add a point light. So, And I'm going to make sure I'm adding... Um, add a spotlight here. Um, if I zoom out a bit, you can see um, that spotlight kind of is going to come down around the whole pumpkin. So I can sort of rotate that around so that it's on the back side of the pumpkin and sort of shining. And you can adjust kind of the amount of uh, spread by dragging that red point. And where it's coming from. So we'll, we'll just stick with that for now. And I also will want to add a point light to represent the actual candle inside the pumpkin. So again, I can drag this, but it is somewhat difficult to do in 3D. So sometimes it's helpful to turn on your views. And I can then make sure I'm dragging this inside this way, this way, and make sure I drag that back down. Yeah. So you can sort of see it's somewhat difficult. <laughs> um, so sometimes I'll actually just use these selections here to move it exactly where I want to make sure it's in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle or anything, but make sure it's inside the pumpkin. Otherwise, the light will be coming out of it in a weird way. All right, so that looks like it's inside somewhat where a candle would be. We'll click check. And uh, that will hopefully show up properly in our rendering. So let's click on preview window. All right, so we can see both our point light and our spotlight are turned off. So I can turn on in PhotoView 360 and there we go. And again with the spotlight, turn it on in PhotoView 360 and you, so you can see a little more light coming out of the, the back of the pumpkin here. Um, so then let's go look through our camera. So I'll double click on my camera here and let's go back to our All right. All right, so there's my camera. Rotate this around a bit. And now if I render while the camera is open, click on preview window. Now it is showing the pumpkin in the scene. Um, as opposed to messing around with the pumpkin in the regular 3D view here where it's, it's not sitting where you'd like. Um, so I can close out of that. Once you're happy, of course, we can play with the shadow um, by changing the, the different lights. Um, but that's really 
you know, just showing up here in SOLIDWORKS. It's not even on in Photo View 360, but I can turn it off and on. Um, you can delete lights. You can add lights wherever you want, pointing at the pumpkin to make sure that the shadows are going the right way. Um, I can even do things like, if I don't like how shiny the pumpkin is, go back to my appearance here and maybe click on it, edit the appearance. And if I go to advanced, and go to surface finish. Maybe I want to change the surface finish from color to something that's a little, um, I don't know, more matte. So sandblasted, for instance. Or you can play with these different finishes, rough, um, just to get a feel for maybe it'll represent the, the look you're going for a little bit better. And then once we are feeling good about the way it is all uh, configured and we want to see what our final render looks like um, we can go back in and uh, click on let's see where is it render options here um, you can select the size of the render so the, the larger it is the longer it's probably going to take um, so if we did 1920 by 1080 for high def instead of it's defaulting to the size of the image here um, preview render quality you know good is typically good enough to give you an idea um, final render quality depends on how much time you have and how much you care um, better we'll do that um, and we click check to accept those options and then when you click final render a new window pops up Of course, I made the mistake of not viewing this through the camera. So to fix that, um, go back over to this display manager and double click on your camera um, to bring up both the view we were just looking at and the view through the camera. Um, to show the difference, let's just click on the preview window and that should pop up here hopefully oh here it is um, now keep in mind if you see the toolbar at the top of one window that's the window it's previewing so when I click over here um, see now this window has the focus and that's what is previewing um, so that's an important distinction um, to help you sometimes actually when you click back it doesn't seem to go back to where it was but if you notice that you, you you are looking through the camera but for some reason it's still rendering this scene just make sure you click in the camera view and it should update um, so that's all we should really need to do to be able to get this final render to work All right, and that was a pretty quick, easy rendering. We could have played with more lighting and made it look a little more realistic, but you should get the point of how to use um, some of the uh, PhotoView 360 tools now um, to give yourself a, a good idea of what your um, part's going to look like in a scene. So I hope you enjoyed those three videos and are uh, designing yourself some cool pumpkins for Halloween.